Welcome back, I am Mr. JDM, and in today's video we're going to clean up the head, we're going to replace the valve seals, and we're going to lap the valves and then install the valves. Get the springs and the retainers and the keepers and all that reinstalled. And then we'll probably do a, a test on the valves to make sure they're not leaking. And that's probably all we're gonna do in this video. So let's get it started. So we got the head back from the machine shop yesterday. Um, looks pretty good. I still need to clean up the uh, the valve seats, but we'll do um, we'll do a little lapping on the valves. Hopefully that'll clean it up. But right now we're gonna pull the valve seals. We might need to clean the head up a little bit better because it it's looking pretty dirty. I mean, obviously it's a lot better than what it was, but we still need to clean it up a little bit better. But uh, yeah, let's get these valve seals removed i'm gonna use a pair of pliers and a screwdriver to try to pry these things off and we got one off all right we got all the valve seals off it's pretty easy and then we have the uh, the spring seats, or I forget what these things are called. But we're going to pull all these off and clean them real good. Because you can see down in there, look at all the gunk that's built up in there. So we're going to pull all those off and put them in our jar of degreaser. So I've got the uh, the head soaking. All the stuff that was around the valve guides was just like caked on there. And so I'm just letting it soak for a little bit. I'm gonna flip it around, do about a half an hour this way, flip it around, do a half an hour the other way, and then spray it off and hopefully be done. All right, so we got it soaked and cleaned up to the best uh, of my ability. I mean, I guess I could have done better, but you know, it is what it is. Now we're gonna do some uh, valve lapping. We're gonna take this stuff and put it on the edge of the valves. We're gonna start with the, um, the intake side and then we'll do the exhaust side. This is the four cylinder, so we'll start here. I'm just gonna stick the valve in there and take the end right here and just spin it until the valve seat is nice and shiny and clean and that looks pretty good compared to the the other one and the valve itself looks really good but you know we're gonna do the best we can it should definitely seal though so I'm gonna do all the rest of them and we'll be back all right so we got all the intake side done now we need to move on to the exhaust side. The intake side came out okay. Um, I mean, it definitely could use a lot more work. But they will seal. And we'll test that in a little bit once we uh, finish the other side. I'm going to pour, uh, once I get all the valves done and put in, I'm going to pour the greaser in here to try to clean all this out. And plus, I'm going to see if they leak. If they don't leak, then we're good and uh, the combustion chamber should have uh, compression, at least on the valve side. But uh, let's move on to the exhaust side. And I'm gonna show you again, one more time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the edge of the valve. Just like that. We're gonna stick it in the valve and then we're just going to spin this you can use a drill but on the exhaust side because of the spark plug tube you can't get a drill in here so we're going to do it by hand it's going to take longer but it is what it is but i'll be back once i'm done with this whole side so i remember watching this video where this guy took this vacuum line and stuck it on the end of the valve 
and then stuck it in this drill and it seems to be working pretty good. So we're gonna continue with this on the rest of them. All right, so we got all the, uh, the valve seats lapped. We just need to spray the head off to make sure we got all the, uh, the lapping compound cleaned out of it. And we'll do the same for all the valves. But uh, this thing's almost ready to be put back together. Let's go spray this off and uh, we'll be right back. So after we get our spring seats on, then we can do the valve seals. And those will go on there and you'll hear it snap because it's got like a little groove on there. And these will snap right into that groove. And we got our last one. But now they're not on there. What we need to do is take a 10 millimeter socket and hammer it down until it's this right here is flush with the actual valve guide. So we put this on here and then you just tap it with a hammer. And you hear the difference in the noise do it again once you hear that noise then it's seated all the way down all right so what we're gonna do is we put the uh, head up on two by fours that way we have access to the bottom and we can get our spring compressor tool up underneath it and then this is the intake side and this is the cam side so this is number one we have our intake number one we're going to slide that up underneath there all right we got it in there here comes our valve now we're going to take our and i can't get that off now there we go we're gonna take we're gonna take our valve or our spring and set it on top. Is that the right one? Yeah. Set that on top. We're gonna take our retainer, set that on top. And then we make sure this is on the bottom of the valve and this piece is on the top of the valve. We will spin this down until it compresses the spring far enough for us to get the retainer in there. I know this is not the best view in the world, but it's what I got to work with. All right, so we spun it down enough to where it clears the groove where the keeper goes in. Now let's find our keepers. We have our keepers and we're going to set those into there. You might need to get a little screwdriver to help you. Let me go find a little screwdriver. All right, we got our little screwdriver. Whoop. Whoop. Let's spin our keeper around. And it's in there, kinda. Let's see if it'll snap into place when we release the pressure of the spring. It does not snap into place. All right, we got all the valves um springs retainers keepers in i mean it literally took me an hour to do all of this 
doing head work is probably the most time consuming job when it comes to uh, rebuilding an engine. Replacing the, the rings on pistons probably would be a close second just because of all the tolerances, the clearances that have to be perfect. But head work is seriously the most time consuming. So anyway, we're gonna flip it over and level it out and fill the chambers with degreaser. And that should clean up the inside of the, the valve uh, chamber area. Um, and plus we can see whether they leak or not. So let's get started on that. All right, so we got it leveled out and we put degreaser inside here and I'm gonna go eat lunch. We'll let this sit for about an hour and uh, if anything leaks out then we know that we have a, a problem and if not we hopefully it'll clean the chambers so uh, anyway we'll be back all right so I ate lunch and uh, it's been about an hour um, it seems that this one right here is low the rest of them are still full but this one's low and it could very well be the spark plug so hopefully that's what it is um, yeah I'm gonna spray this off and we'll see we'll, when we flip it over we'll see where it's leaking from all right so as suspected it was leaking out of the uh, spark plug because it was leaking from the spark plug tube um, actually it's this one but I decided to pour some uh, degreaser down in here. This one has like a some type of port. It's down in there that leaks out the bottom. I think it's part of the EGA, EGR system. I don't know exactly what it is. But we're going to try to soak these and clean those out as much as we can. And uh, while we do that... We're going to jack the car up, pull this tire, and start removing the, the timing cover and all that stuff. Um, that'll be in a totally different video, though. This video will remain with the assembly of the head. So we're going to take a pause on that. But All right, so we got the head all together. We um, replaced the valve seals. We did the valve la or the uh, We lapped all the valves. Um, we got the valves installed with the springs and retainers and everything so uh i guess we'll end the video here i guess in the next video we're going to do the water pump and get all the timing cover and everything removed and do the water pump and get it ready to install the head so uh thanks for hanging out with me i will see you all in the next video